The trick to finding an application that perfectly fits your workflow is understanding its strengths and weaknesses against other applications in the same category or price range. This is not to say Sorted 3 is better than Things 3. Only you can determine that for yourself. However, we can highlight what it does better than Things 3 and vice versa. This is just the first part of that comparison. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Sorted 3 and Things 3 are both Get Things Done applications. They are both available on Watch OS, iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS. To access Things 3 on all of these devices will cost you $79.97 because the application is a separate purchase on all of them. Sorted 3, on the other hand, is a freemium application, which means you can use it for free forever. But if you want the pro features in the application, you'd have to part with $39.98 to get it on all your devices. Things 3 does not have a free version. It only has a 15-day free trial. Unlike Things 3, Sorted doubles as a calendar application. Not only can you create to-dos in the app, you can also create calendar events that you add to your Apple Calendar. You can mark your events as busy or free to mark your availability on your calendar. That way, your colleagues can see when you're busy if they want to plan an event with you. You can also pick the calendar you want. Sorted 3 can list all the calendars you have in Apple Calendar. It integrates with Apple Calendar quite well. Events are not as flexible as your to-dos. Usually, we plan events on fixed dates with other people. Sorted understands that, and that is why the application automatically locks all the events in the application. Things 3 is strictly a to-do application that can display the events in your Apple Calendar. It does not allow you to create events or interact with them in any way. Both your tasks and events can have formatted descriptions in Sorted. You can add images, sketches, headlines, checklists, numbered lists, and even format your text, which is to highlight it, make it bold, italic, or strike out. You can even move your blocks around to rearrange them in case they're appearing in an order you don't like. The application uses Markdown, and for those of us that can't use that writing language, they have a toolbar. We appreciate how thoughtful the developers are. Notes for your to-dos in Things 3 don't look as great if you don't like Markdown, and you can't add images to them either. You can attach files that are smaller than 10 megabytes to your events and tasks in Sorted. We hope in the future we'll be able to add bigger files though. You can attach PDFs, zipped files, videos, audio files. Things 3 does not attach any files to your notes. In Sorted 3, when you select multiple tasks, you can auto-schedule them. Before you get started, make sure your tasks are arranged in a chronological order, that is, in the order you intend to complete them in. You can then decide when you will start completing the tasks and what time you want to finish. Buffer is the break time between tasks and you can also add the time you assume each task will take. This then automatically adds timestamps to all your selected tasks. You can of course adjust the details of each task to fine tune it. Things 3 can't auto schedule your to-dos for the day. Sorted has a few useful gestures to work fast in the application. You can magic select multiple tasks on your schedule. You can adjust your schedule in minutes or hours using the time rule to quickly adjust your schedule. So if you're running 15 minutes late, you can easily just change that for all your tasks at once in the application. Swiping down adds new events or schedules. Sorted is the first 
get things done app we have encountered so far that has a recycle bin. You can recover your deleted tasks and events within seven days. Where Things 3 has two types of widgets, of course of different sizes. Sorted has seven. The coolest of these is the widget that lets you pre-configure tasks and events so you can quickly add detailed items to a schedule without needing to open the application. Basically, these are all the features you get in the application when creating new tasks. All the pre-configured details display on your widget so you know exactly the task you're creating. This is a more efficient way to work when you have repeating tasks that you need to schedule regularly. At least you won't be feeling this every time you create a new task. And those are the eight reasons Sorted is better than Things 3. We shall cover the reasons why Things 3 is better in the coming videos. Let us know if this could be a Get Things Done app you see yourself using. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.